All right, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a uh, Libra Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being set aside, moving to the reading straight away now, the first one, which stands for the topic and the general theme of your week here is to be the Six of Cups. Moving next, we do have the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. Uh, that is to be the energy of the Lover's card. Third one stands as the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Tree of Pentacles. Furthermore, what we do have it is the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Two of Pentacles. Followed next, it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around, of your family, friends, uh, suitors, personal interests, and etc. etc. That is to be the uh, Hierophant card. And the last one here, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering, that is to be the uh, star card okay so those uh, those six cards all right so um energy that feeds up the topic and the topic itself here that we do have with those couple of cards now throughout this week it does look like that you are to drastically improve uh, the relationships with everybody around especially with the beloved ones uh, that doesn't just come from the lover's card but also from the situation the lover just only amplifies the situation itself and uh, disagreements and differences according to those cards are to be set aside and instead you all of you i mean you and your family you and your person in relationship or co-workers or whatever are to focus on the benefits that you do have from each other the, the help that you can kind of lay to each other as well and in generally the small things out there that are making the life easier for which for each one of you um that you do have each other into your community of life um the energies additionally are going to make you a bit more, uh, how can I say it, more open for a new contact, for a new um, uh, relationships as well, not necessarily romantic though. But if you do have the chance to spend time among people around, you know, we know how, how, what kind of a times we are in and that is not access accessible for every, uh, for every one of us, but for some some countries are still not under a strict quarantine so that card as an energy if you do have a chance to spend time among people around and you are feeling lonely uh, it does look like that you are going to have some chances here and there you know to actually um, establish flirting or to establish you know more deeper connection with someone that uh, is to pop up into your life now on the more profound scheme though the lover's card this promises as energies it is that promises that a uh, issues and concerns that you do have are going to become milder and milder up uh, up until a point that they are to become just only trifles and you can very very easily overcome them if they do not overcome themselves on their own accord in generally you know problems what the card points is that energetically wise uh, problems that you are suffering through are likely to resolve themselves on their own accord and that itself is going to put you in a position where simply you're going to start enjoying life more and more and these cards are very strongly suggesting about a, a better relationship experience in general because the six of cups are uh, if it relates to career it just only points that you would gonna like what you do okay it's just you know the tasks at hand are gonna be a task that you would love to perform but when we talk about relationships with those two cards it kind of means that especially if you are single that you're gonna have an interaction with a person that a physical and emotional connection in between you two can be established and we all know that these are one of the most important traits that a relationship needs to have alongside with the trust and mutual reliability so straight away hands down you are uh, uh, as soon as you kind of meet that special person two of the four most important traits are to be fulfilled for you and you just have to work over the other two uh, traits but in generally this week for you libra is going to be a, a very very positive one 
and the very least here you can experience a relief that you are not kind of oppressed that much of the concerns that you do have for your future for the future of your children generally for the future of your life either career or relationship wise now next one here uh, which stands as the challenges that you need to overcome it is the tree of pentacles and uh, the tree of pentacles in terms of this follow-up and challenges it kind of points to inability to kind of take on a criticism so you are to be a bit more touchier than you should be at that particular week and when people try to point you something that you do wrong it seems that you are going to be like on a survival mode against them you know it's, it's just you don't have to go to that extreme so challenging wise here it is uh, actually a couple of challenges one is the one that i have explained that you should listen a little bit more profoundly into criticism that it is uh, addressed to you and uh, the other one it is actually to uh, accept a an equal cooperation in a sense of that you and someone else could work over something or to do something and you both are taking an, an equal participation into it which is going to lead to a mutual support through a mutual development and as well is going to provoke quite of a um how can i say it uh, meaningful conversations if you will you know of how the things needs to be done and uh, also there is to be a lot of honesty in there and exactly from that honesty it is where the uh, criticism is going to come from so uh, here with uh, the challenges it is uh, just the challenging wise it is to let the people win or some of the people win at the very least and also listen to what those people have to tell you because we ain't perfect i mean we are humans we ain't perfect we have a, a splinters to take away from our life you know that is an expression in my country i don't know if it does make any sense in english but generally it does says that we all have negative traits that we need to work over and that those people are not going to be shy to tell you what kind of a negative traits you do have and you you simply need to listen so that leads us to the next one here which represents the gifts and the blessings that uh, you libra can enjoy throughout the week and that is the gift and the blessing of the two of pentacles so two of pentacles uh, it kind of points that um, a lot of concepts and uh, in generally tasks and goals that you had but you didn't really felt thrilled to have them at your side it felt more like a obligation than anything else are going to be are gonna drop off the table because here the two of pentacles points that for the better a concept are going to become outdated and they are to be replaced with a new concepts new goals and new directions that actually are going to allow you to unfold your creativity and to unfold your optimism as well you know eagerness determination you name it and it will basically you are to be gifted with a change of direction for a greater and, be and better heights in general however is going to uh, is going to require some adaptation from your behalf i mean some of your methods alongside with the new goals may turn out to be outdated and you have to change those methods with new methods and it is exactly where the criticism comes into play you know people tell you you know you can't do that thing the same way you have done uh the previous thing around and you have to listen to that and you have to adapt readjust in uh, according to the situation itself so it does look like that uh, uh, there are to be a bit of a murky waters that you are going to be in but uh, the greatest fish are being catched in exactly into a murky waters that is another sentence that we do have into our country however you can expect as well with those gifts and blessings to be quite pleasantly surprised here and there from different stuff that are popping around you know changing into schedule changing into as well you know some plans but those changes because that is into the gift and the blessing type of uh, uh, side of the uh, of the reading are going to be all pleasant it, uh, suffice to say that you maybe hope that things are going to turn out that way you were insecure or uncertain that they are going to turn out that way well there you go they are turning out the way that you have expected them to turn out but once again just because you have expected it to turn out it doesn't mean that you're ready and you will need a little bit of a readjustment here uh next one it is uh, how people are look at you what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around that is a very very good card guys to, uh, the hierophant card pretty much people uh, are seeing you as someone who knows 
their place. People were seeing you as someone who is not going to trespass a, uh, a, a certain boundaries and is not going to um, kind of like, uh, how can I say it in English? Um, cut short, if you will, some of the paths that needs to be walked on. Additionally to that, the Hierophant shows that people are going to look at you as a uh, a person who is always willing to explore the existing framework is really difficult to translate. It is like instead of trying to be a smart A, you are always going to look uh, in a more philosophical and as well more smart way upon the situation, trying to find the resolution that it is within the framework of the situation instead of bailing out of it and trying to replace it with something new. For example, you know, you have a little bit of a struggle within your uh, relationship and instead of trying to go for a new relationship, you know, or cheating on your partner and etc, etc, you are to try to look at the framework into the relationship and try to find a way to solve the problem in there. So pretty much people are going to take a look at you as a, someone quite uh, persistent, reliable, uh, a, a person who is also willing to listen, although it's going to be a, a bit of a struggle for you and a bit of a challenge to do it. So simply people were to see you that you do listen to guidance and that you are also capable to give search to those that need a, a benevolent support. So in general, you can uh, expect that there are to be quite a lot of improvement once again into the social status of yours and as well relationship status. And the last one here, it is the guidance card which is the star so the star points that whatever uh it is happening here with those cards it is a, a foundation of a a long-term enterprise and uh, you have to keep your goals and ideals high in other words uh, the card really asks you to a bit exceed your capabilities in one or another way in term of hope and in term as well of a uh, a, a finish line a finish line end of the road that uh, concerns the endeavor additionally to that the star card it is a card pointing to unfolding love so if you love someone just say that to them okay because most likely they do they do have similar feelings to you as well and um, Finally, uh, with uh, the star card, it is about end of an era of a turmoil, as usual. So pretty much uh, guidance-wise, the, the star card points that uh, there, there aren't things that can scare you moving forward into the future. It's pretty much is a sign that the worst is over and from now only great heights are awaiting you in regards to the endeavor that manifests here throughout this week. Uh, so that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And depending on what kind of a service you decide to purchase, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours telling you how your reading is going to take place. Stay safe now, guys. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.